Hey guys, so in this next video, I actually wanted to show and demonstrate the various types of firing modes you have with the Cobra firing system. Now the firing modes I'm going to review today are manual firing, step firing, and then auto firing. Now within the actual 18R2, there is actually a fourth mode of firing and that is script firing. Now within script firing that actually includes pure step scripting, fully auto time scripting, and a combination of both step and full auto scripting. Now I'm not going to get into that in this video, but I'm going to do that in a later video. This primarily is to cover the three modes that I mentioned earlier, which is manual firing, step firing and auto firing because to be honest to cover all the things around the script firing mode um, I could do that in a separate video so the first firing mode I'm going to cover with you and demonstrate is manual firing so manual firing there isn't like one button that you push on the remote you actually will push the button on the remote that ties to the corresponding queue where you have your effects so to demonstrate manual firing, I'm going to go ahead and turn on both the remote and the 18M module. Now what I'll go ahead and do is I'm going to go ahead and turn off the backlit display on both the remote as well as the firing module. So before I start going in and, and demonstrating the actual manual firing, the one thing I did want to mention is within manual firing, and step firing which I'm going to cover both those with you today there is a difference between the 18R and the 18R2 the main difference is is the 18R2 sends redundant firing commands for both those firing modes layers them on top of each other in parallel and this allows for both speed and accuracy within the 18R those commands are sent in a series and basically the 18R will not allow you to fire the next queue until the commands have been sent so ultimately to summarize that the 18R2 since they're sent in parallel or layered you can press them as fast as you want and not lose the reliability of the redundant signals so I'll demonstrate that as we go through these various test sequences and demonstrations so within manual firing like I said you will push the button to the corresponding queue where you have effect and now you can see we have one module in the field that's in the arm position and we're ready to go so I'm going to simply start by just demonstrating basic manual firing so I want to fire Q7 so there you can see it lit up on the module fire Q8 fire Q9, fire Q10. Now I'm going to demonstrate some of the speed that I mentioned related to the 18R2. So you can literally press, I'm going to press three buttons at the same time and that's Q13, 14, 15. I want you to look over at the module and you're going to see that it responds to all three of those cues. So here we go, one, two, three. You can see it actually responded and that's some of the speed that I mentioned that you have with the 18R2. The other thing is you could press you know 18 and 12 at the same time and you can see the lit up on the module. So the next firing mode I wanted to show you is auto fire and how you do auto fire is there's actually a button on the remote not sure if you can see it right now but I'm gonna go ahead and fire this up as long as as well as the module so you can see this. So I'm going to put the module in the arm position and I've fired up the 18R2. And I'll turn off the backlit on both. And to demonstrate auto fire, like I mentioned to you in a previous video about the features, this box down here represents the time sequence that you're going to set for the system to wait before it fires each queue for the auto fire mode. So right now you can see it says three seconds. 
for demonstration purposes and for this first test, I'm going to actually um, do it a little bit quicker. So I'm going to adjust this down, and you can actually set this anywhere from 0.1 all the way up to 99 seconds. For this, I'm going to actually do 0.3. So this is going to fire pretty quick between cues. So once you get the value that you want, you then need to put it in the arm mode. Now we're in the arm position, and then we're going to hit the auto fire button. I want you to look here at the screen, and you're going to see a letter S come up, and that represents your starting cue. So I'm going to go ahead and hit the auto fire button. You can see the starting cue. We're going to make that Q7. And then we're going to end at Q12. And you can see E12. So starting Q7, ending Q will be 12. Once you're done with that, you simply push the auto fire button. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And you can see it's going fairly quick and it fired all those cues. What I'll do just to demonstrate it, I'm going to go ahead and put it back in the test. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to increase this time increment. I'm actually going to move this up. We'll set it for, let's say, just for the speed of the video, I'll do four seconds. So like I said, you set that to the value that you want. You then simply need to put it into the arm mode, and we'll do that. And you can see it actually remembers the, uh, like I said, this is some of the firing memory. So now I'm going to actually select auto fire and then you're going to see a starting queue. And we're going to start at queue 13 and we're going to end at queue 16. And there you can see S was 13, E is 16. And then you just simply push auto fire and this is going to wait four seconds between each queue. So I'll go ahead and hit fire. And you can see it waited four seconds. And it's waiting that time between each cue. So the last firing mode I want to cover with you today is step firing. And you may notice I actually have removed the consumer igniters from the 18M and there's a reason for that. And the reason for that is with step firing, there is a single button that's on both the 18R and the 18R2 and it's actually called step. And the difference with step firing is, is it actually will fire in sequential order and it starts at Q1 and fires one at a time all the way to Q18. So that's the reason why I unplugged the igniters or disconnected them because I didn't want to fire them. Now like I said, both the 18R and the 18R2 will do step firing. And like I touched on earlier, and I'm going to demonstrate it for you today, the difference or biggest difference with the 18R2 is the speed in which you can do the step firing. And the reason for that increased speed is due to the fact that they send the firing commands in parallel or they layer them um, versus the 18R which they send them in a series. So I'm going to go ahead and turn both these on, the remote and the module, and you can see we're up and ready to go. And now I'm going to go ahead and put it in arm position because as we know they default to test. So now it's sent the signal to the module and you can see we now have one module in the field that's in the arm position. So we're ready to go. So I'm going to start out like I said you just hit the step button and I'm going to start firing that. You can see it starts at number one and you can go as slow as you want or as fast as you want. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to demonstrate some of the speed I was talking about. I'm going to push this step button as fast as my thumb will press it. And you, I want you to keep an eye on the 18M and watch it keep up. So there you can see it. It's firing those. And then the thing with step firing is once you're done at Q18, it automatically will default and go to the next channel. So if you had say three modules on the field, they're all on separate channels, it's going to default to the next module that's on channel two. And then it will start firing those cues. So I'm going to go ahead and step through this. You can see how fast I can go. And then it defaults to three. So you can literally just step through your entire show. 
and you could vary the speed, you could go as slow as you want or as fast as you want. So that is all I wanted to cover with you today. Those are the various firing modes that you have with both the 18R and the 18R2. And like I mentioned to you before, there is one additional firing mode that you have with the 18R2, and that is uh, scripting. And there's going to be a separate vid video that I'm going to go into and do a lot around scripting and specifically cover the three types of scripting you can do which is pure step scripting, fully auto type scripting and also a combination of both step and full auto scripting. So once again thank you very much for watching my video and we'll talk to you soon.